guys it's been a while and I just got back from doing a few routines and errands and whatnot so it's been a while since I've actually made this video I hope every one of you are doing okay to kind of explain before I get into this product review I um, unfortunately I had gotten fired last week on Monday so as of now I don't have a job anymore so it's back to job hunting for me but that's pretty much how it's been going for me and that's why I haven't been putting out as much videos as I can with the exception of my updated vitamin C treatment. But I have been currently job hunting again even though it is really near the Christmas season so it's going to be somewhat hard to get a um, seasonal job. But that's what's been going on for me. But with that being said, I do have another product review for you. It is another Shea Moisture product and I'm really sorry about the label. It just looks a mess. But um, this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Body Lotion. I know you can't really see it in this label, but this is what the bottle itself looks like. I've been storing it upside down. I will explain why. But you can find this at you can find this stuff at several places. You can find this at Target, Walgreens, Sally's Beauty Supply, and Ulta Beauty. Those are the four places I know where you can find it. And you can also order it online through Shea Moisture's website. The price range would be somewhere between. $5.99 to $9.99. I say $5.99 because Ulta Beauty is currently having a sale online where they've shaved off at least maybe $4 off the price. I don't know why, but um, if you go online to Ulta Beauty's website, they're selling the Shea Moisture Lotion for $5.99, which is why I said $5.99 to $9.99. But, <clears throat> I, you know, sorry about that, I also ate too, but um, I ended up picking up this lotion because I ran out of the other lotion that I had. I think it was, I think it was from this company called 100% Pure. If you're interested, I'll put the website in the description. Then below, you can check that out. But I had a lotion from that company which makes 100% organic products. I tried that lotion. It was good, but it was, it went by too fast. It didn't do so well. So. Naturally, I would fall back towards Shea Moisture, and I decided to pick up this lotion since, of course, I was on the hunt for my Argan Oil and Raw Shea Lotion, which is very hard to find. But I ended up picking this up because I ran out of lotion, so nothing more. Nothing special about it. So, to be quite frank, this is a pretty good lotion. I don't know why I keep holding it upside down, but this is a pretty good lotion. It's very thick. It's very thick. It's somewhat creamy with creamy and the only reason I would think why it's really thick is because of the concentration of shea butter in it. Um, shea butter is like the first ingredient. Afterwards it's water, um, palm kernel, some sort of alcohol derived from palm kernel. But the first ingredient in this is shea butter so expect this lotion to be extremely thick. Now in terms of moisturizing it's really good. It does leave my skin very moisturized. Moisturize it I highly recommend that you apply it after you step out of the shower and you lightly pat yourself dry with a towel. That will work the best for you. If you try to apply it onto bone dry skin, it might be somewhat hard to work in. It takes a bit of a minute, particularly for me since I have dry skin, it takes a minute for me to work it in. But <clears throat> on the issue of it being extremely thick, that's the whole reason why I'm constantly holding it upside down in the video because I had to store this bottle upside down in order to even get this stuff out and I don't know if you've noticed but there is a huge dent in the bottle because I've had to squeeze it like crazy in order to get it out and that's the one problem that I had with, with Shea Moisture the packaging these their lotions Shea Moisture's lotions are really good but sometimes their lotions are so thick that you really can't qualify them as lotions. To me, for example, the Olive and Green Tea Body Lotion, which I will be trying soon, or I might not, I don't know. I'm on another lotion, which is a Superfruit Complex Lotion. But, for example, the Olive and Green Tea Body Lotion. <clears throat> I had a travel size of that at one point. And even then, even when it was in a small bottle, it was still hard to get out. I even had to store the bottle upside down in order to figure out how to get it out because it was just so thick. That's the same case with this stuff. 
it's great it's wonderful as a body lotion it's very moisturizing and it's wonderful if you absolutely love shea butter but the packaging sucks See, absolutely sucks it shouldn't be in a bottle it should be stored in a jar at least in my opinion or if you're gonna put it in a bottle at least put a pump on it put a pump on it so if I have one request to send to the Shea Moisture Company about their lotions and creams, please put them in a jar, okay? It's hurting my tiny hands to have to squeeze the bottle like crazy in order to get the lotion out. But, yeah, and that's the whole reason I end up reading a tip on the Shea Moisture website that I can store this upside down and the lotion will slowly slide down towards the cap where I can just open it, squeeze it out. And then close it so that's what I've been doing with this lotion I've been using the rest of it it's almost gone so this is pretty much how much I have left the smell is pretty good I mean it smells a little bit like shea butter since shea butter is the first ingredient that should be the first thing it's usually the first thing that hits my nose when I smell it, it smells pretty pleasant you can smell the fragrances and the myrrh in it so to me the smell is good but it's really nothing that special Otherwise, this is a really, really good lotion. I just want them to change the packaging on this because I feel like since this lotion is extremely thick and since shea butter itself is pretty thick, it shouldn't be in a bottle. It shouldn't be in a squeeze bottle or maybe even a squeeze tube. It should be at least in a bottle with a pump or a jar. I prefer a jar so I can just scoop it out how much, how much I want. But otherwise this is a pretty good lotion you can find it at the places that I've mentioned um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna purchase it again again here because I'm already working on another lotion like I said I'm working on the um, superfruit complex body lotion and I will be doing a review on that very soon but I'm not sure if I'm gonna purchase it again this is a great lotion but I do not like the packaging not a fan of it so in this case, I would probably give the lotion four and a half stars for the lotion, one out of five stars for the packaging. So that's pretty much my review on it. If you've tried this lotion before, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. If you have any questions or tips for me about this lotion or about any of the Shea Moisture lotions in particular, leave them in the comments below. And like I said, you can find this at four places, I believe I said Target, um, Walgreens, Ulta Beauty, and Sally's Beauty Supply, and you can find it online. I'm pretty sure you can find it on like SheaMoisture.com. You can possibly find it on Amazon too. But that's pretty much my review on it. Leave your comments in the comments below. I look through the comments all the time, and I answer as many questions as I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it concerning what I had said before I started the product review here. Um, I am still job hunting. Right now I have a potential job shooting, potential one day job shooting for an event that happens on Black Friday. No surprise there, I can only imagine how that day is going to go. But I have to shoot, there's a high chance I might be shooting for an event on Black Friday which celebrates the holiday season coming in and it's paid. So I'm kind of pumped up about that. So I guess you can kind of wish me luck something but that's what's going on with me and that's my product review if you like it please leave a um, thumbs up it's always appreciated if you want to share it feel free to and if you want more from me feel free to subscribe to my channel because more will be coming soon I guess with this I can say it gives me more time to pump out more YouTube videos so I will be getting to them very soon and I will see you in the next video so see you later guys all right I'll see you in the next video